Man, this, it doesn't even stink. I think they just got brought in. Can I help you? Yeah, they're very friendly. <laughs> oh, and all the horse manure gets tossed in here. Okay, this is a part of the trail. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of horses. One got branded, 631, 3466, okay. <clears throat> All right, so I'm on a multi-use trail, or it's designated that. <clears throat> it looks specifically for bicycles, but it says multi-use. So people are paying to, to get in, I guess. And they got cows. They got, looks like they got something going on. It's pretty neat. So this trail follows behind a, a stadium on this side too. <laughs> That's pretty neat. Steamboat fly fisher. I think people are paying for this, but I could just sneak right in if I wanted. I have no desire to. That is quite a crowd. Nothing's even started yet and they're all packed. All right, they got some interesting equipment here. Polecat? Snowmaker? Wow. That's pretty neat. They just got them sitting in the grass. They got five, six. That's pretty neat. <clears throat> and then you got Vold Rodeo Company. It looks like they brought in the they brought in the cows. I think Vold Rodeo Company brings in the cows, probably. And they park on this dirt road. Old Rodeo Company. I usually assume that these uh, cows are brought to slaughterhouses when they ride in these types of uh, trailers. No, I'm thinking of it in a different way. They get take some get taken to rodeos. Oh man, I I should have uh, stayed back further. There's a little mouse that can climb the wall, like a gecko. Yeah, they really let their guard down around here. They'd normally have this area fenced off. All this, oh, yeah, so they got gates wide open. Even this, this fenced in area with a lot of nice stuff. It says no trespassing, but the door's wide open. This town is, is very civil, I guess, when they can let their guard down so much. Look at that, it says work zone. No public access. That's just where I came through. So they, they kind of put uh, empty, empty warnings. I came right through there. Whoop. I just wanted to record these gazebos that I thought were interesting. They're connected. I was seeing them, yeah, pretty easily from the road. Colorado Lottery Starbirth's the word for excellence. Okay. So I feel pretty comfortable walking all the way to Safeway because I just take the bus back. It'll be about three, four miles away from my car, but I mean, just jump on the bus and be okay. It doesn't stop running until like 11.40 at night. Picks up again, 6.30. This is interesting, at this car wash, they have a dog wash, but it says no trespassing, so I guess they really don't have self-service. That's an actual dog wash. 
No trespassing. Oh. Well, maybe they just don't want people hanging out here. Leash them up right here and hose them down. When you're doing your car wash, it's extremely rare to see at a car wash. Extremely rare. Alright, uh, first of all, this is a trash can. What is the deal with this thing? On a chain? In the trash area? Why would you have a hammer like that? And then also... So normally you could walk to the Safeway from behind along the river, but they're building something big around here. Right behind the Safeway. More apartments? That's kind of neat. It's neat that they continue to build in this area. People actually commit to sticking around in the winter, which actually the winter is the focal point for the winter, uh, the skiing and all that. Now I'm seeing bear poop almost as big as my poop around here. There's warnings of bears. There's big bear poops around the area. There's definitely some serious activity around here with bear. I gotta say, I gotta admit, the taste of raspberries is not satisfying by itself. So much better when you <clears throat> ferment it. So I just saw a vehicle has a, a sticker that says Colorado exempt from emissions. You need to have a sticker on your car saying you're exempt. All right, so near the bus. These people have taken over the parking lot with their old vehicles. I am really glad I did not park overnight and park all day here. And then what's the deal with this? <laughs> So they can't just prop up the the front the front hood. They have to lay it over here. Jeez. <clears throat> right, I just want to say getting that right combination of sweetness and sour. I actually I drank a little bit of this because it actually did taste good, but that's because I was eating a lot of sour. And then I got my fill and now I'm pouring it in, which I already did. Poured the coconut water into this sour mixture of several fruits. I'll do the same for whatever room I have in the others. <laughs> this home B looks to be in pretty good shape. Oh my god, they're still open? Pretty nice. I used to drive this. I don't even, I still don't really remember what those are about. All right, 
Alright, this is like the West End Village. And I suspect they might have some good overlook of the highway. But I've never seen... I've never actually seen houses looking up for, uh, to this, up to the ledge. Yeah, you don't even make it to the uh, the the campground. There might be probably a way though. I did see some trails. Just wanted to orient myself turning over here. Mm. Hmm. <clears throat> Trail's a little obscure, but it does go up. Oh, maybe that cliff face is, well, not quite farmland. They're definitely grading it in preparation for something. <laughs> They cleared up this this area for something, a lot of the area, maybe for more housing. Yeah, not too much going on here, but it looks like they're intending to do some work on the west side. All right, so I played with the uh, drone a little bit. I, I wanted to run with it at about head level, and I was getting warnings that it was too low. So there's a minimum height, I didn't realize. So this area has some desert conditions where these sage brushes can do pretty good. All I'm seeing are a lot of grasshoppers. Whoa. In this tall grass. Just want to get a little overlook of that 
main highway. All right, here is the campground. There's a sharp edge that drops pretty dramatically. They're all next to the, the river, which is pretty nice. You could go to the, the east end of the city and then float back down to the, the campground. I'm not sure how long it would take. It's gotta be at least a half hour. And that would be the cliff up there that that's the, the most prominent along the roadside. <clears throat> this is pretty good though. Somebody had a fence up here. Is that to stop his animals from falling over the edge or is he genuinely trying to protect it? Usually a lot of farmers have decided to use natural barriers. What the heck? So somebody camped out on top here, left everything behind uh, quite a long time ago. I figure this is a pretty good spot. They got things spread out, a lot of alcohol, mostly alcohol, God, at least three bottles. Wow, big drinker, big, big drinker. Left their, left their stuff. Well hidden by the grass now. So this is seeing a few snowfalls. Alcohol containers inside. Gosh. <laughs> 